Hello everyone, Paul Fortress with you today and today we're going to cover body fat percentage and the problem with body fat percentage is that it's very deceptive. Um, as you can see, I have very low body fat percentage. But if I was to relax, bend over a little bit, I can grab what you would say fat or skin around my waist. The two thumbnails that you see on my video, uh, both of them are taken right before I made this video and both of them are me right now, basically. So it, everything depends on the angle, on the way you look at the person. Another problem that arises is that you don't only store fat under your skin. Your organs store fat, your liver stores fat, and it's all inside your organs, I mean around your organs. And if you were to have no fat there, your organs would begin to shut down one by one until they all turn off and you're basically going to die. So it's impossible to have no fat in your body. You always have fat. Basically what people try to do is decrease the amount of subcutaneous fat, which is fat under the skin. And in the last video, I'll put it right here on six pack abs, abs, I told you that the only way to make your abs show through is by lowering your body fat percentage. And this is what today's video is about. The first way to measure body fat percentage is by the use of calipers. Calipers is like a little measuring tool that allows us to see how much subcutaneous fat we have. So if I was to grab around my, my fat right here and measure it, it tells me how many millimeters of separation I have. And that tells me how much fat I have under the skin. Then we use a chart and we find our age and we find how much we measured in millimeters and it tells us our body fat percentage approximately. It's a very accurate method, probably the most accurate method you'll be able to use without paying a lot of money. There are several different ways of measuring your body fat percentage with a caliper. Some tests only require you to measure on your stomach. So you would take around two inches, clip it, put the caliper right next to your fingers, wait till it clicks. On this particular cal caliper, once you apply enough pressure, it clicks and tells you to stop. And then you look at the amount of millimeters of fat you have. Now this is very inaccurate because a lot of people store different amounts of body fat on different parts of their body. I particularly store majority of my fat in my legs, not my stomach, which is why you can see my abs, but my body fat is not as low because my fat is stored in my legs. So different tests, such as AskScooby.com, he has you measure in three different places. So he measures your belly, he measures uh, your chest, and then he measures your leg, your quad. Now there are even more accurate tests out there and they have you measure, I believe, in seven different places. As you measure yourself in seven different places and you input the amount of millimeters you have in each place, it gives you an accurate reading of your average body fat percentage. I hope that makes sense. And those also include measuring on your arms in different places. I personally have met people who store a lot of body fat on their arms, yet their belly isn't that big, which is kind of strange, you would say, but that's why it's important to measure more than one place and the more places you measure and put into that calculator online the more of an accurate reading you'll get all the links will be in the description below on measuring your body fat and what to input all right this one i got on amazon for five bucks so calipers are fairly cheap you can get one for yourself and it's a handy tool for measuring your body fat percentage and keeping track of your progress also when you are taking a measurement of your body fat percentage Make sure as you do the two inch clip with your hands, you take it within five seconds because you are pushing and the fat cells are, you know, being pushed away and you won't get an accurate reading if you've been holding it there for a while and the distance will keep decreasing and decreasing because as the fat dissipates sides. So make sure you clip it, you measure, you go through it, do that three times through all the places that you were gonna measure and then take an average of the three measurements that you got. That way you get a more accurate reading in case you did something wrong. All right, now let's talk about the body fat analyzer, digital body composition analyzer. Those things are fairly, can be fairly accurate or fairly inaccurate. The BIA, National, I think, Health Institute or something, put out a list of things that you have to maintain when measuring with that machine in order to get a plus minus 1% uh, error only. So if you're 4% body fat, it's, it's, uh, it's going to either show you 1% more or less or perfectly right on. 
if you follow these small directions. If you don't follow them, your hydration can affect it a lot because as the electricity is sent through one foot to the other foot, what's happening is it's taking the path of least resistance. The more water you have in your body, the longer it's going to take to reach the other leg and the more it's going to think, the more fat you have. But in reality, it's the water that's stopping it from going that fast. Also, if you're completely dehydrated, it's going to give you a much lower body fat reading that, than you really are. Also, if you just exercised, it's going to give you a different reading. So make sure you follow these standards if you're using a digital body analyzer. And if you don't have a digital body analyzer, um, Vita Goods has contacted me and they, they're giving out 68% off for anyone who buys it with my fortress code all right fortress discount code so make sure you put in the fortress fit discount code and go on their website and you'll get 68 percent off for you guys if you want to buy yourself one and it shows your weight it shows your body uh it shows your body fat composition it shows your mu muscle composition bone density and other stuff that you can keep track of using it but again Remember, in order to get an accurate reading, make sure you follow these guidelines when using it. As for pounds, it doesn't really matter if you follow the conditions because it's just going to show you how much you weigh total. Water, food, everything included in your body. It's just the body fat percentage and all the other compositions that you need to follow these guidelines. Other than that, let's get to our second part of the video, which is how to reduce our body fat percentage and that video I'm gonna put a link right here and compressing so this is how we do it we raise our legs like this and then we use our abs in order to bring our